Welcome to this online tutorial about Glycoglyph. Glycoglyph is a software where you can draw glycan structures easily using a graphical user interface. Here we can see the interface where you can either type in a name and the structure will get drawn here or you can choose monosaccharides or templates to start with and linkages and substitutions and then add them over here. So let's start with a template of an N-glycan core and then we can add to this N-glycan core which you see here using the monosaccharides. So let's say we wanted to add a gluconac with the linkage of beta 1,4. So we say add linkage that puts the prepared structure here. Next we have the add mode selected and then we can go to the node where we want to add the gluconac and we can just click on that and it adds the gluconac. Now as soon as it adds the gluconac it also changes the name accordingly and the glycosity gets changed as well. We add the second gluconac as well and choose the linkage then choose this. So we have this and the name gets updated accordingly. If you think you've made a mistake, you can always undo and start over, or you can even replace the lower. So you say we had to choose galactose instead of glucose. We just put galactose into the prepared structure and then replace that. It keeps the linkage. If we wanted to change this linkage, we choose alpha 1 3, for example. We add linkage and we are in the replace mode. We click on that and it changes it to alpha 1 3. And say we wanted to delete this node, we can delete it this way. The delete function will delete all children child nodes. So if we delete this manos, this one and this one will also go away, like so. You can also customize the drawing features. For example, if you want to increase the symbol size. And if you don't want the linkage text to be rotated and not and to use the abbreviated text with maybe a higher font size and then you choose redraw. So here you can see it is redrawn according to the new sizes. When we choose this to redraw a template, it will warn you that this will clear the name field and whether you would like to continue. We say OK and we are back to the in glycan code. It also produces the GlycoCT, which is a naming convention used by many databases. So we can use this for various database applications. But you can also directly get the Glytucan ID by clicking here. Now in this case, you can see the alpha, beta, unknown, and open depends on the orientation of this particular sugar. When no linkage information is present, it assumes it is open and therefore it highlights this one. However, uh, if we were to put say alpha 1 and we say get glue to can ID, here you can see it chooses alpha and it puts highlights this as a glycan ID. If you click on it, it takes you to glycan for that structure and you can make sure that that is the structure over there and uh, there is also an introduction tutorial which you can take which goes over exactly what I just talked about in detail you can use the arrow keys to move forward or backward and you can use the escape key or close this to get out of the introduction tutorial you can save this structure as a SVG by clicking on save SVG, it will ask you where you would like to save it. And we just save it over there. And to open the file, it will show you the structure again. And there you go. That is what Glycoglyph is all about. I hope you like it and use it in your day to day application.